Hey everyone, I'm Kim Coleman. We're back today with a demonstration of our Lightweight Affiliates add-on. This add-on will help you set up affiliate codes that you can share with different websites and through different marketing channels to help you track where referrals are coming from and understand where people are converting for your membership site. Okay, we're gonna get started with setting up the Affiliates add-on for Paid Memberships Pro. We integrate with a few affiliate plugins out there like Affiliate WP and some others, but this is the one we wrote ourselves. We call it a lightweight affiliates plugin because it's not too feature rich, but it lets you do the basics of what you need for your membership site. So we're gonna set it up in my demo site here. You see my Must Love Dogs demo. I'm gonna log in as my administrator account. And then I'll go into the admin. I already have my membership set up for my Paid Memberships Pro license. This is not a free add-on. It is an add-on that requires our standard membership level. So just log in, go to Memberships, Add-ons, and search for Affiliates. I'm going to click Install. And once the plugin is installed, click Activate. So now that the plugin is installed, nothing majorly changes on your site, but the thing we want to look at is the Affiliates section here on the side menu. Here's where you're going to set up any new affiliate for the site so we can create affiliates, and then we're going to create some other settings related to this. So I'll start by assigning an affiliate to an existing user account, an existing member of my site. Let's take this user, Ryan Wingrove, their user ID 8. So on that affiliates admin page, I clicked add new affiliate. It generates a code for them. We'll use their name. We'll make their code be Ryan so that it's easy for them to remember. The affiliate user, here you enter the username of the WordPress user that you want to assign the affiliate account to. A new feature of this plugin, this plugin has been out for a while, but a new feature is the ability to set our commission rate. So we'll set ours to 20%. It's not set in stone. There's lots of research out there for different affiliate commissions, but we're just going to set 20%. I'm going to leave the tracking code section blank. This is just where you could add other tracking attributes about the checkout if you're using other systems like ClickFunnels or other things like that. And I'm going to just set the other settings related to the cookie length to keep that at 30 days. And I'm going to make this affiliate be enabled. So that's the only step to adding an affiliate. The next thing I'm going to do is go over to my settings in Paid Memberships Pro and set up the page for our affiliates, which is called the Affiliate Report. So under Memberships, Settings, Pages, scroll down to the bottom. You see this Affiliate Report section. I'm just going to click Generate page so that it gets created for me. And let's take a look at that page. It inserts by default the short code for the affiliates report. And this is just to make sure we're inserting short codes or WordPress blocks into sites that aren't using the WordPress block editor. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to show you the new block called the Payne Rorschach's Pro Affiliates Report. This block has a few settings you'll see here in the sidebar. It allows you to show a backlink which would link them back to their membership account page allows you to export the affiliate conversions to CSV. Your, when your affiliates are logged in and viewing their report data, they could see that section, which shows a help table. And then something I'm gonna turn on is this commissions table because we'll demonstrate that through our thing. It also puts a table of the conversions that have happened for this affiliate and lets them see who they're converting. This is particularly useful when you have, almost are using affiliates as an invite type system and you want people to hand out their affiliate code, and then they can say, oh yeah, my mom, my dad, my siblings signed up. So I'm gonna leave off some profile information about the user. I'm just gonna show the date, the level, the commission, and I think that's enough. We don't wanna show too much information in this demo site that I'm creating. So I'm logged in as my admin account. I don't have an affiliate membership, you'll see here, but I'm gonna, let's add me as a membership also. So let's find out what is my username. My username is just PM Pro. So we're going to add one more affiliate here under the Memberships Affiliates section. Add new affiliate. I'll make this one the PM Pro affiliate. It'll make Kim Coleman the contact and the username PM Pro. I'm not going to change any of those other settings like we did before and click Save Affiliate. So now when I go back to our website, to that page for our account, we can see now it's added a link to the affiliate report page in my member links. This is a section of the account page you can enable if you're using the shortcode version. You can add that attribute to include the member link section. If you're using our block for the membership account page, you can toggle on to include the member link section or it's its own standalone block. So I'll click through to view the affiliate report. I haven't tracked any signups yet. My affiliate code is PM Pro. 
but I haven't tracked any yet. So below this, it shows some helpful information for me as your affiliate to create those conversions. It's gonna show us two different links. By default, it shows to send people to your homepage to start the affiliate conversion tracking or this second link just to the membership levels page of this website. Lastly, it shows how to add some campaign tracking. This is really just if your affiliate is using the code in a lot of different places in their social media and they want to see, oh, okay, these leads were generated through my Facebook account. These were generated through my Twitter. These were generated through my email. So I'm going to copy to my clipboard this membership levels link and I'm going to log out of this account so we can show how it looks when I convert. So we're logged out and I'm going to enter that URL. So now I am registering a new user account as tracked by that affiliate. So let's select the beginner membership. We're going to be the affiliate referral user and we'll call myself Kim at referraluser.com. For my card number, I'm just going to enter a basic card number. This is just for testing and a testing security code. Submit and check out. So to me as the user who used that code, I don't see anything different. My checkout process is exactly the same. We'll go back to our membership account. We can just see everything here. I'm going to log out and I'm going to log back in as the admin user we were testing with to see, hey, did my page change at all? Did I get that referral tracked in my account? So I'll go back to my membership account. And now we get a little bit more data on that affiliate report page. We can see the commissions we've earned and the commissions that have been paid out to us and what's due to us to be paid. We also are showing that section that shows some kind of details about what kind of conversions we made. It shows what we selected it to, the date, what level that was chosen, and our commission for that sale, 20% of the $10 or $2. So that's pretty much it for the experience of setting up an affiliate, of using an affiliate's link to complete checkout, and then that experience your affiliates will see on the report page. As I, the site owner of the Must Love Dog site, Based on whatever period I say, I can go in and view these all. I can do affiliates reports for specific conversions that have been made. Here's this PM Pro user. And then when it comes time to make payments, this affiliate program is not integrated with any payment systems, but I can make the payments manually via PayPal or personal check or any other process. And I can mark affiliate commissions as paid. So that's something I can do in the admin under those reports to show commissions that have earned of all time for the person. And then this also shows me as admin how much revenue that specific affiliate has contributed to my membership site overall. I'll show you again that it shows that they earned $2 commission. It's a paid commission. I've already sent them the money. If I want to reverse this as admin, I can click this X and it resets it to an unpaid status. I'm going to mark it as paid just so we can go back to that front end report. And I can show you here how it would look for the affiliate side, I have no commission due anymore, and that $2 has now been a paid commission. However, that was sent to me in the back end. There are affiliate plugins that are more robust than this, that have payout systems, but if you're really just getting started and you're not sure if affiliate program is going to really take off for you, or you really just don't need that heavy of a program and you like that this is a lightweight solution, we know that it tightly integrates with Paid Memberships Pro. It's a great choice to use, and it's available to our standard members. And if you're not a standard member, you can always go find our open source code on GitHub. Thanks for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you at the next tutorial. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll be notified when we publish a new video. Thanks.